Hello, uh, good day. In this screencast, I'm going to show how to calculate the conjugate metric tensor, also known as contravariant metric tensor, using Mathematica. In the previous video, I calculated this term, which is the just the metric tensor. Metric. The difference between the metric tensor and the conjugate metric tensor is that your ij appears in the subscript for the metric tensor and the superscript for the conjugate metric tensor. Conjugate metric tensor and contravariant metric tensor are the same thing. So here we started with our transformation equations which relate x, y, z to the u, v, w coordinate system. They can also be written in terms of x bars and x's. Um, then we calculate the each um, natural basis vector. So there will be three natural basis vectors. Uh, there will be partial r, partial x1, partial r, partial x2, and partial r, partial x3. Now that's the natural basis vectors. So to get the reciprocal basis vectors, we use these three equations. Uh, for E1, it's E2 cross E3. E2, it's E subscript 3 cross E1. And E superscript 3, it's E, e subscript cross 1 cross E subscript 2. And we note that they are all divided by this V term, which is the volume of the parallel pipette. And then finally, once you have these E1, E2, E3, you simply dot them together to get your nine terms of the conjugate metric tensor. Okay, so let's open Mathematica. This one is not open. So this one. So here is Mathematica. And Let's delete this. Here I simply just changed from the last video. I just added the word natural, 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 natural matrix to differentiate between the natural basis vector and the reciprocal basis vector. Okay, so just picking up exactly where I left off in the last video. So if you need to review where I came up with all of this, watch the last video on the just the metric tensor. So now we calculate the V term which will equal the dot product of E natural matrix 1 dotted with the cross product open parentheses of E natural matrix 2 comma E natural matrix three and then close your uh, cross product operator. So since we don't want to see that we'll just use our semicolon. And now we can calculate each E reciprocal let's say E reciprocal matrix or let's call it E reciprocal one to equal E reciprocal 1 is E2 cross E3 divided by V. So it's, we can say E natural matrix 2, and I want to use the cross product operator, which is a function in Mathematica. E natural matrix 3 close and now we divide that by V and it's that really long ugly term but we will use a full simplify function to simplify it and we will get that now E reciprocal that's E1 reciprocal basis. So now let's do E2 and E3. Here is 2. So 2 is 3 cross 1. And the 3 is 1 cross 2. 
1 cross 2. Okay, so now we see these three terms. Let's put a semicolon. And let's put a semicolon here because I don't want to see anything but my reciprocal basis vectors. So here are the reciprocal basis vectors. So now I need to put these three vectors into a matrix. So let's initialize a matrix. Do I even need to initialize a matrix? Let's try without initializing a matrix. Here is No, I need to initialize a matrix. Okay, no problem. Let's initialize a 3x3 three three matrix using the table function. So table. And now I'm just going to use some random term. I'll call it matrix element of i, j. And i goes from 1 to 3. And J goes from 1 to 3. And that's my reciprocal basis matrix. And let's look at that in matrix form, which is here. So now let's replace the first row, second row, third row with this, this, and this. So I will say A reciprocal matrix 1 is equal to e this 1. And now let's take a look at what happens to this before and after this assignment. We know that the first row has been replaced with this. So let's redo that for the second and third row as well. And now we see that I have computed my reciprocal basis matrix. So let's hide these using semicolon. And even let's hide this one using semicolon. Now to calculate now the final step is to calculate the conjugate metric tensor, which is simply the dot product of each of these terms. So the first row dotted with the first row will give me the first element. The first row dotted with the second row will give me the element in the first row, second column, etc., etc. So I'll use the same nested for loop we have here, except I will add a new, I'll change the variables. Okay, and now before I do that, I need to initialize a conjugate metric tensor matrix so let's initialize a conjugate metric tensor matrix and let's call it again matrix element ij and let's view this Form. And now this one is the conjugate matrix. Let's call it conjugate, conjugate metric tensor matrix element. Now I'll use a for loop to um, find the nine values I have here based on this uh, natural basis, uh, sorry, reciprocal basis vector or matrix. So I'm going to use this same for loop. 
except I will change this from met metric tensor to conjugate metric tensor. Conjugate metric tensor. And this natural matrix, we call it reciprocal matrix. And again, we have reciprocal matrix here. And then let's take a look at this conjugate matrix tensor in matrix form. And for spherical coordinates, this is exactly what we expected. So let's hide everything we don't want to see. And let's hide this. And there it is, your conjugate metric tensor. Okay, next video will be how to co compute Christoffel symbols of the second kind. Uh, that's basically going to be using the metric tensor and the conjugate metric tensor. Okay, thank you for watching.